tired too, but I'm excited to be here. Now, let's look at things. We can make a choice, right? To just be to be happy and be, be glad that we're here. This morning, as I pulled into the parking lot um, and I got out of my truck, the sunrise was just gorgeous, right? Looking, there's a tree right there from the parking lot, and, and just looking at it and seeing the sunrise, it was just gorgeous. It reminded me, like, it's a brand new day, and I'm really glad to be here. Even though I was up, you know, half the night because one of my kids woke up and was sick. And, but even with all of that, like, it's still good to be here. And so I'm glad that you're here. I hope you're glad that you're here as well. As we get started this morning, I'm going to open us up in prayer. Um, and then we have the lab and some birthdays. So let me pray. Father God, we thank you for how good you are. God, that you woke us up this morning, that we have a brand new day. God, that you have plans for each one of us. And so God, I pray that as we lean in and listen, God, that you'd speak to us, you'd guide us, you'd push us to where you want us to be. God, we thank you for your grace and how it covers our life. Be with each student here. Um, as this week, uh, they they work hard, they study hard. God, be with the, prof- the, the teachers and the, and the faculty. God, we thank you for all that you do in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, we, we all come and help uh, lead us in the wagon this morning. Texas A&M. And Evan Tawey, 
is for anybody who's under the age of 18 who'd like to take it. I think that's one of my favorite. I have mine. It's a great one. Anybody who's interested in the medical field, especially the, the emergency part of it, the EMSs, it gets you started. It, it, uh, it helps you understand the basics of it. Um, if you live out in the country, the, the water one's also a good one to take. Uh, we also offer a, a lifeguard one, which is one of my favorites as well, is if you ever work with Sort of Bond or anything like that, it also helps you to apply for jobs there in different areas in that field. That's about it for me. Colossians 3.23 says this. Work willingly at whatever you do as though you were working for the Lord rather than for people. As my challenge to you today is whether it's here at school or whether it's finding another organization that you want to be a part of, work hard in all you do. And as you do that, be the light for those in that organization, in that community, wherever you are, whatever sports team it might be that you're on. And don't just work hard as if you're working for another person, but realize that whatever you're doing, whatever you do in this world, you do for God. Work hard for that, for that purpose, to know that you can actually make an eternal difference. There are times, no matter what job you have, that you will wake up every day and think, why am I doing this? And I know you think, if I get out of school, if I just get done with school and I get a job, then there'll be purpose. No, you have to find the purpose. So my challenge for you is to, wherever you are right now, begin finding purpose in everything you do. And the greatest purpose you can find is the purpose that the Lord gives you. And so that's, that's my challenge, because even as a youth pastor, there are days when I wake up and go, why am I doing this? And if I just rely on my own self, and I rely on my own thoughts and my own motivations, there are days where I really don't want to do much. But I've really got to, to give myself over and say, you know what, it's not about me. It's not about what I want, and it's not about what the guy next to me is doing either. Right? When we get into the comparison game, that really messes us up. You know, if I look at my friends that have graduated from seminary, there are a lot that I know that have gone on to be like senior pastors or and so there's that question of like am, am I doing enough? You know, and then there are some that that you know you, you feel like, oh, you kind of compare yourself. And, and all that does is cause negative things. Like it, it becomes a am I doing enough, but it's always measuring it in terms of my own self or what I think the world deems as success. But there's a greater way to live life. Where you can wake up every day and go, I do have purpose. And, I, and I, I know what that purpose is. And it's when you look to God every day and say, okay, God, what is it today that you want me to do? It doesn't always have to be this big, huge thing, but each day God has something for us to do. And so I, I challenge you and I encourage you to wake up every morning and listen to him. And say, okay, God, I'm here. What now? And then actually go do it. There's this thing about the Word of God that is really powerful. I talked about this at the beginning of the year. But the thing is, this Word is only as powerful as you do it. It is not meant to be a history book. It is not meant to be a science book. It is not meant to be a philosophy book. It is meant to be a spiritual book. And for it to work, you have to put the things that it tells you to do into practice. And then you see how alive and living and powerful that word is. And so whatever you do today, my challenge is to work as if it's for the Lord. Find a new purpose and allow God to speak truth into your life. Let me pray for us. God, we thank you for today. And we ask that each student here would take the time that they need to focus in on you. Whatever that looks like. 
And God asks you to draw them close to you. And you show them what it is that you would have them to do, not five years from now, but right now, right here, where we are. Thank you for all you do in Jesus' name. Amen. If you guys want to know more.